Niedermann, great first touch, gets the chance for the shot and takes it. Brilliant from Niedermann, fantastic centre forward play. regularly cited as one of the best strikers in modern football and you will obviously be then a role model for many but I was wondering who was your role model who was your inspiration growing up I think to be fair like obviously women's football has changed a lot over the last couple of years so when I grew up I was only watching men's football um, my biggest example is always um, Robin van Persie I've always said that obviously he moved to Arsenal as well mm. because I'm a Feyenoord fan I followed him throughout his whole career and I think it's amazing to see, obviously, that right now, if you ask someone this question in probably 20 years, they'll be saying that they looked up to us, mm -hmm. which is really special. But, um, yeah, I followed the men's football and the men's teams. You mentioned there, Van Persie, you are part of a proud Dutch heritage of, of previous winners of the PFA Players Player of the Year. You have Van Persie, you have Bergkamp, you have Van Nistelrooy, you have Van Dijk, a defender. What is it about the Dutch culture, the Dutch schooling, that makes you guys so successful in, in English football? I think if you compare the Dutch football school to any other school, I think we're just pure footballers. Like, I don't really think you'll be saying that we're the best athletes, but I think we've all got it up here, which um, I think brings something else to the league in England, brings something else to um, football in general. And I think obviously all the players you've just named, Besides Van Dijk, obviously, because he played in a different position, but he's also a really smart player. Like It's more about what's happening up here than what's actually happening with the ball. Um, and I think that's obviously one of the reasons that I love Van Persie that much. Like, the way he played as a nine was just so clever. Like He didn't have to be the quickest or um, the strongest, but just his possession and always just gave him the chance to, to score all the goals he's, he scored for Arsenal and obviously then after Man United. When you speak of that intuition, for a goal. What is it about the art of goal scoring? You've scored so many goals. Is there some, is it, is it just a feel? Is it purely training? How do you describe that art of goal scoring? I think it's something you either just have or you don't. Like, I don't really think it's something you can really learn. Um, I think obviously you can practice your finishing and, and you can do that after training. But I think to be at the right spot in the right time is something that you just feel. Um, obviously, I've been playing as a nine, well, the most recent years. I've been back at the ten. But again, like you don't really lose that goal scoring um, feeling or like that opportunity to actually like create those chances for yourself. I think um, looking back at my career, yeah, I've scored plenty of goals. I don't really think I celebrate them that much, <laughs> but uh, it's obviously my job to, to do so. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to do that as well as I can. And going back to that 2018-2019 season, you become PFA Women's Players Player of the Year. Going into that season, was there a special feeling? Did you have this air of invincibility going into it? What do you remember back from that season? Um, I think mostly, obviously, that was the first season that Joe Montemiro at that time became our full-time coach. Um, we had worked with him for six months the year before, but I think this pre-season he could kind of get us up to speed and everything just clicked. I think we went off to a flying start. Uh, we had really good results and I think once as a team you start like that, you're just confident. And in the end, I think no one came, came close to us. Um, and that's just, obviously you feel something like that the whole year. Like I think every game we went into, we were like, even if we were losing to or three Noah at some point, we thought we, we could find like a way back into winning that game. And that's just a really nice feeling of, of having as a team. I have here eight winners from those 10, those 10 years. Um, two of them have won it twice. I want to pick an ultimate player, and I want to start with best vision. If you go through and see what, what you think 
I, I love players who obviously have vision. I think that for me is the most beautiful thing about football. If I look at other players, I think obviously I play and train with Kim day in, day out. Um, she's a very clever player. I think she's really underrated um, at the moment. I think she gives her team a lot. So I'd probably say either G or Kim for vision. You have to pick. Kim. Kim? Perfect. The first winner of the award. We have her here. <laughs> um, if we go then towards strength, who do we then pick? I'll pick G back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we probably need um, that. I think, yeah, looking at obviously like being a proper athlete, I think Lucy has been Lucy. doing that over the last couple of years. Won it twice, once with Liverpool, once with City. All right, that's strength. We need pace. Pace. How many do I need to pick after this? One more. One more is finishing. Okay. Then you're good to go. But then I need to be smart in my pick in my choice here. I would say just for pace, Kirby then, but not so much obviously an actual pace, but just in how she's thinking about the game. Like I think she I makes like decisions really quick. I think you've seen that over the Euros. Like I think uh, she's just a smart player. So yeah, it doesn't come back to pace and just speed all the time. Obviously. Another two-time winner. Last yeah. one, finishing. Um, yeah, Sam. If you look at all the players who have won it, like I think everyone has got different skills, which is the beautiful thing about football. Um, as I said, like I love players like G, like I, and and Kim, and the ones who like are creative and and just have that one touch football in them. I love that. Um, but you obviously need to have athletes. You need to have like finishers in the game as well. And I think. Well, all these players together have got everything in them, which is really cool, I think. And do you think they would beat your WSL record? Um, don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Might need to beat it myself.